It's Mornings with Al Faraby on CFAX 1070. We've been talking about the Canada Dry Victoria Dragon Boat Festival, which is coming up uh, August 12th through 14th. Inner Harbour is the spot. And one of the very cool and I think important aspects of the Dragon Boat Festival is uh, something that is called the Lights of Courage campaign. Now, Tony Joe is here. He's vice chair of the Victoria Dragon Boat Festival Society. Good morning to you. How are you doing, by the way? Doing great, Al. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Tell our audience about this, because this is something that really uh, puts a light on the battle against cancer, essentially, doesn't it? It does, indeed. So this is the sixth year of the uh, the program, and basically what it is is uh, people go down to the local fairways markets uh, or the Bay Center or Denny's uh, down here, and they can purchase for, it's a donation, it's $3, and they get a, a lovely paper lantern for those watching uh, A-Channel. Yeah. Uh, I think you can see that right there. Sure. Yeah, and uh, what we end up doing, there's a little tag here as well, too, which is a little bit of uh, explanation about the Lights of Courage. You can also put your, um, there's a little tag here here where you can put down the name of somebody who uh, perhaps has uh, uh, gone through uh, um, uh, or survived cancer mm -hmm. uh, and put a little message there. People end up coming down to the festival, uh, which is going to be August 12th, 13th, and 14th, and they end up um, hanging these lanterns down at, the, um, uh, down at the pier. So last year, we had thousands of these lined up. It's quite the amazing, quite the amazing sight. It's just wonderful. It's a really strong statement, too, that... Uh those that are going through it, the battle against cancer, you're not alone in mm -hmm. this whole thing. And uh, there's many, many people that are on site to, to fight it, essentially. It really does have that statement in a nutshell once you see this display, doesn't it? It does. Last year, we sold 17,000 of these. That's amazing. It is. And, and it's a great... It's really a great, great demonstration of how the community comes out because really when somebody is making a donation and, and picking up one of these neat little lanterns, they are um, contributing to the fight against cancer. And it all goes to the BC Fancer, Cancer Foundation. The nice thing, of course, is any funds that are raised on the island stay on the island, which is also very important. Yeah, a lot of people look for that too. Um, this idea originally, because you mentioned this is year number six, which I'm just kind of th thinking, no, it just seems like we started this yesterday, but it's, it's six years ago. Uh, it, it came from where exactly? Who, who came up with the idea and to, to move this forward? Because it's a great one. It is. I, you know, just one of the uh, prior uh, uh, Dragon Boat Festival Society boards, um, uh, I, I guess, thought up the idea. I wasn't there at the time. Mm -hmm. um, but every single year, the growth continues. So the goal this year is for 20,000 of these to be sold. And like I said, it was 17,000 last year, uh, which was a, a considerable increase over the year before. So they just keep on, um, they just keep on rolling in. It's really simple to do. And... As Tony mentions, uh, very simple to get involved, and in, I mean, to, for a, we're basically seeing like a, a, a minimum donation onwards. People could donate more if they want, for example. Sure, or they could pick up a few if they like. They can pick up as, as many as they want, as many as you have, essentially, yeah. right? Yeah. And, and again, the locations for, for those that are listening, they, uh, you can all of the local fairway markets, right? Uh, the Bay Center and Denny's. Does that start today? It starts this morning at 9.30. 9.30, okay. Yeah. And uh, right up until... Until the festival itself. And a couple things that I should mention about the festival. Um, for those who have been down there, you know it's the most amazing festival uh, in the Inner Harbor. It's the three days, again, uh, August 12th, 13th, and 14th. There's going to be thousands of people down there. We're going to have our... Um, we're going to have entertainment. We're going to have uh, uh, a, kid's, uh, a kid's tent. There's going to be, of course, the thrilling dragon boat races and the Forbidden City uh, food court. Mm -hmm. And getting back... Back to uh, the Lights of Courage, we also have the Breast Cancer Survivors Race and Carnation Toss. That's right, because there there is a history with uh, with the Island Breaststrokers yes. and uh, and a variety of other people that have uh, have gone through this that uh, that take part in this each and every year. Absolutely. So we've got teams that raise uh, a lot of money. Uh, over twenty thousand dollars so far have been raised between six of the local team six of the local teams, and we have um, we're going to be about eighty teams this year. So that's just fantastic. That's amazing. Six teams going to raise that much. So imagine if you get six more. Yeah. Doubling it to, or, or then some to, to do this. So with all the efforts last year, $54,000 was raised for BC Cancer Foundation. And again, that is just a testament about the support of the community, which is always fantastic. This is the very cool thing about this event. The fact that, uh, I mean, there are teams that, as you know, Tony, they, they come in from, from out of town and they take part. And uh, they're also supporters of this as well. But this is also something I think I find uh, our community really uh, gets behind and really uh, it galvanizes our, our community to 
to uh, to 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 take part in this as well. And this is one way, one simple way people can do it. Absolutely. And and like I said, these things they're lovely. We see them in people's homes all the time. Yeah, and yeah. and uh, but but again, it's a great sight to see them down at the um, at the Inner Harbor at the pier. Thousands of these just uh, lined up with their tags and and the notes uh, notes attached. Last time I checked, are you still looking for volunteers for the uh, festival? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. There's there's never a shortage of uh, of uh, of opportunities, so they can find us. People can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, mm -hmm. and the website is victoriadragonboat.com. Very simple to uh, get involved in it too, and to check out the uh, website. And it, oh, to, the countdown's on. Twenty-three days, seventeen hours, and thirteen minutes. Yeah, nice. <laughs> I like how that works too. Yeah. Okay, well, this is kicking off today, and that's why we're talking about it today. The Lights of Courage Lantern Campaign, uh, year number six of it. And as uh, Tony mentions, I mean, look at the amount of awareness and and funds raised so far. But uh, our community can can do that much better with everybody getting involved in it. So again, Fairway Market locations, the other locations were uh, Bay Center and Denny's restaurant. Please visit them. Tony, I always appreciate you coming on by and letting us know what's going on. And uh, we'll talk again once we get into, you know, when the real summer begins in August. Yes. And the weather's going to be really good for this because it will, right? It always is. And you'll be there. Absolutely. Yes. Love it. Uh, we've got links to it. Our website, cfax1070.com. And we'll have much more on this as we get into the month of August as well. Tony, thanks again for dropping on by. Thanks, Al. All right. Six 657 here at CFAX 1070. Thanks so much for joining us today. 7 o'clock reports. He's coming on up and also.